I like to think of qualitative as description and quantitative as numbers but and we'll break it down a little bit better on the next two slides but I wanted to share this quote with you because I, I think that it probably is very um, true and accurate um, in this book that I was reading on qualitative and quantitative research there was this quote um, we treat the quantitative and qualitative traditions as alternative cultures each has its own values beliefs and norms and each is associated with distinctive research procedures and practices communication within a given culture tends to be fluid and productive but communication between the cultures tends to be difficult and marked by misunderstanding and I think that as we talk a little bit more about qualitative and quantitative you'll see how easily that that could be true qualitative research is investigative methodology that might be described as um, naturalistic field or participant observer um, research as well as the others on your slide it emphasizes the importance of looking at the variables in the natural setting in which they're found and interaction between the variables is important detailed data is gathered through open-ended questions that provide direct quotes and the interviewer is an integral part of the investigation rather than being objective about the investigation as they would be in quantitative when doing qualitative research you're looking for the complete picture and many times the researcher may not know what that complete picture is going to be when they start their research in fact they may just have a rather vague idea of what they're looking for and the researcher actually becomes part of the research um, an example that I read in somewhere once was about studying um, gangs or studying the homeless and when the researcher was doing this they actually became part of the gang or lived among them or lived among the homeless so that they more closely would understand what they were talking about um, it's much more subjective than quantitative research and you're not concerned with whether people's perceptions are accurate you just want to accurately record the people's perception um, qualitative research involves data such as words or pictures or it can even be objects like an artifact and an example of this another example of how you might use this would be um, interviewing a group of World War II veterans and compiling their stories into a book and many times this research does end up as a book because it's so huge a lot of times they also use qualitative research at the beginning of a uh, research project when they're still trying to figure out what it is exactly they're trying to research Straub and Corbin summed up qualitative research with this definition broadly defined it means any kind of research that produces findings not arrived at by means of statistical procedures or other means of quantification um, methods tend to be interviews or case studies and they're generally done as field research in the natural environment there are some disadvantages of qualitative for one thing it's very time consuming but the very subjectivity of the inquiry leads to some difficulties in establishing the reliability and the validity of the approaches and the information and it's very difficult to prevent or to detect researcher induced bias um, its scope is limited due to the in-depth comprehensive data gathering processes that are required so like I said it would also be very expensive and time-consuming and many times it can't be easily replicated so um, we know that's an important part of, of a lot of research is that replication process which is not possible in many instances I'm gonna stop with qualitative and come back and talk about quantitative